Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to continue adding MongoDB to our Yelp clone. We're going to create a model and then we're going to refactor both the post and the git routes to actually use the database instead of this hard-coded comics thing right here. In the previous videos when we were playing around with the cars database we just did everything in the same uh, file but our app.js is already starting to get a little bit out of control we it's not too bad yet but it will quickly get out of control so what we're going to do and this is a common convention we're going to create a new directory for our um, models for all of our mongoose models so let's make dir models and inside of there we're going to touch models comics or comic, I'm sorry, .js, singular, comic.js. So now inside of this models directory, and we're going to have comic.js. Eventually inside of this models, we're going to have a lot of things. We're going to have a comic, we're going to have a user, we're going to have a comment, we're going to have different things. Well, let's go ahead and open up comic.js. And inside of here, we need to do a few things. First, we need to import mongoose. So const mongoose equals require mongoose because we're going to use the mongoose um, functionality inside this file. And then we're going to make a schema, const comic schema. And this name does not matter. You can call it anything you want. Equals a new mongoose.schema. And remember, this is called as a method. Oops, got two equal signs. Called as a method, and it takes one argument, which is an object. That object takes the key value pairs, where the value describes the type so currently our data has a title which is a string oops has a description which is a string and has a image has an image which is a string so we are creating the schema and now we have to compile that schema const comic again i'm capitalizing that equals mongoose.model and ask you the name of the thing comic and then what schema you want to use with it the schema I want to use is comic schema that's going to compile it and then we have to do that same thing we did with the config uh, config.js we're going to do module.exports equals comic notice that this is caps just like that is caps that's the same because that's what we're doing in this file we are um, importing mongoose we're using the mongoose.schema to create the comic schema variable and then we are compiling that comic schema variable into the, the um, much more advanced constant comic with a capital C using mongoose.model. This is what adds all of the functionality to it. This is what really brings it to life. And then we are exporting that. Mods.exports equals comic so that when we import this file this is what it will import. Comic right there. So we are done with this file for now inside of app.js we are going to import that so const comic again with a capital C this is just convention but it's good to get in the habit equals require and then we have to find that file so right now we are in app.js so we have to go into models and then to comic so dot slash models slash comic save now let's go ahead and run it and make sure it actually works because if I made a typo or something, it'll at least throw an error. Nope, no errors, so we're good to go there. So now that we've created this uh, model, we can start to use it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to refactor this post route. Where is it? Post, right here. So instead of, basically what's happening right now is that whenever that form is submitted, we're logging it just to, so we can see it on for debugging purposes, and then we're adding it to this array. We don't want to add it to this array. We're not going to use this array at all. This array is going bye-bye. So instead of that, we're going to get rid of that entirely. So there's going to be two main steps to this. And honestly, we could get rid of the first one, but it's good practice to do. First, we're going to create the new comic constant. So const new comic equals, and it's an object, where title is going to be request.body.title. Description is request.body.description. And image is request.body.image. Dot 
Now, we could skip this entirely and just, instead of creating a new comic, just pass in request.body if we wanted to, but this is more explicit and it makes it a little bit easier to understand and follow, and since everybody's learning, I wanted to go ahead and take that step. Now we are going to call this comic model, now notice the capital C, that is referring to this constant right here, which is the model that we created a minute ago. So comic.create, and we're passing in new comic, passing in this right here. And remember, whenever we create something, it will return a promise. So dot then do something. The comic will be passed in right here. So let's go ahead and console.log that comic. So we're not going to console.log it up here anymore. So if it's if the if everything does like it's supposed to, we're going to console.log that comic. And then we're going to res.redirect to comics. But if we do a dot catch. We'll do an error, so we want to console.log error and res.send that error. Now let's just res.redirect back to slash comics. All right, so that is done. Theoretically, this should work. This should allow us to push things to our database. Let's run it, see if I made any typos. All right, not yet. Let's go to add comic. And actually, let's just pull the data from here. Title is Watchman. Description is all of this crap. And link to the image is right here. Submit and see what happens. As of right now, you'll notice it didn't add anything on. That's because this data is not referencing our database yet. However, if we look in our console, it looks like it did work, and if we go over and look at our MongoDB and refresh, we now have one item inside of our database. Woohoo! So let's go ahead and do that again. Let's submit Batman. And after I get done with Batman, we're going to go ahead and refactor the Git route. That way we can see the difference. Click Submit. See if it worked. Yep, looks like it worked just fine. So I'm not going to do why the last man yet, because I want to be able to, when we load the page, it to show just the two, and then us to add the last one. So our post route seems to be working. So let's do the git route for this uh, slash comics. So the first thing we need to do, whenever somebody hits this comic route, we say, okay, we need to get all of our comics first. So comic.find, and we want to find all of them. As of right now, we're going to find every single one comic.find.exec. The reason we're doing exec, remember, is so that we can get a promise back. Dot then, do a thing. What is passed into to the dot then is the found comics. And what we're going to do is we're going to res.render comics, passing in, oops, found comics. So really all we did is instead of referencing the comics um, array up here, the hard-coded array, we're referencing whatever we find for get back from the database. And dot catch error res dot render or res dot redirect to comics and console.log error. So that's saved. It restarts. No errors. Let's go to comics and see if it works. There we go. We are getting this information directly from the database. We know this because the why the last man one is gone even though it's still in our hard-coded version. So let's add that to our database. Add a comic title, description, image, submit, boom. All three are there. If we look at our MongoDB atlas and refresh, all three are there. We now have data persistence. And let's just try this again. Let's add a comic. 
Um, I really don't care right now. All this crap we can fix, clean it up later. Submit. Now we have four things there. And if we look in our MongoDB and refresh, we'll have four things here. One, two, three, four. And this is the cool part. Once we close our server, server's dead. And let's delete this entire constant, this entire big array of data. Save. Start our server again. Refresh the page. And we still have this data. This data is now persistent. We no longer are creating this from hard-coded stuff. Anything we add, anything we remove, that will persist no matter whether we start or stop our server. This is a wonderful, marvelous thing. It, is, it makes me so happy. In this video, we created a mongoose model for a comic. Let's look at that real quick. We created it inside the models directory comic.js. We imported Mongoose into that. We created the schema. Remember you have um, the keys over here and then you have this, the data type as the value. We compiled that schema into a comic class or a model is the, the a specific term for that using mongoose.model and then we exported that model so that we can import it into our app.js. Inside of our app.js we imported that model right here and then we used it in two of our routes. We used it in our git route, comic.find, and this finds all of them. And then we use .exec in order to get a promise back. And then if, if there's no errors, it renders that. If there are errors, it'll constantly log the error and redirect you back. That's probably not the best thing to do now that I think about it, because if there's an error, it's just going to basically loop itself and try and do that over and over again. So instead, we'll res.send the error. That way we don't cause anybody any problems. And then we also use it in app.post to create a new comic constant. This is redundant for now. We did not have to do this, but we, we did to make it a little bit clearer. And then we use comic.create passing in that constant to create a new comic. And then after it's done, we're simply redirecting back to comments. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Mm -hmm.